There are five groups of framing details that make up a pre-engineered metal building that are key to the building's structural integrity and ease of construction. The primary framing is essentially the backbone of the building or the basis of stability for the rest of the structure. This section of the building is comprised of solid I-beam construction that is pre-welded by machines at the factory to establish a quality link between beams. The secondary framing reinforces the primary framing with girts, purlins, and eave struts. These pieces create a tight, seamless connection between the I-beams and sheeting. Most importantly, the purlin has a bearing rib that helps provide a stronger weather-tight seal throughout the roof. The self-drilling and tapping fasteners meet ASTM international standards for primary and secondary frame connections. The fasteners are pre-assembled with neoprene washers and metal caps to ensure weather tightness. The bracing is either in the form of a diagonal rod or cable in the walls and roof. These lighten the load for the structure. You can opt to portal frame the bay with a bracing if you intend to use that section of the building for access. Next, we have the sheeting and ridge cap. 26 gauge metal sheeting creates the building's walls and ceilings. 8,000 PSI yield material is standard, which is more resistant to damage from hail and other objects that may impact the sheeting. The ridge cap runs along the peak of the roof and matches the slope with a long overhang. Its design helps keep everything in alignment and add another layer of weather protection. Last, we have the sealant, trim, and flashing. The sealant is yet another layer of protection against the weather while the trim and flashing give the building a finished look. While we're on the topic of framing details, take a closer look at traditional construction, including pole barns and why steel is often the better choice.